a media tycoon, a shrewd businesswoman, one half of the Indian media's power couple, a darling of the Mumbai party circuit, a woman with a dark past. mother and perhaps a murderess. Last week saw a whirlwind of revelations, allegations, counter-allegations and media blitz over what may go down in recent history as one of the most sensational whodunit cases India has ever witnessed. The world knew 47-year-old Indrani Mukherjee as former Star India CEO Peter Mukherjee's wife. They launched a television news network together, but behind the facade of a television zarina lay a life hidden from the arc lights. Over the next half hour, we will sketch the five faces of Indrani, retracing her journey from Guwahati as a 16-year-old Pari Bora to the 47-year-old Indrani facing a murder charge. More popular among her friends and family as Pori Bora, Indrani could not complete her class 10 exams at the St. Mary's School in Guwahati. She later completed her class 10 in private and was sent to the Lady Keen College here in Shillong to enroll for her pre-university. It was here in Shillong that she finally met Siddharth Das, who was reportedly a student at St. Anthony's. Young Sheena was killed in mysterious circumstances. There is a lot of mystery that shrouds the life of her mother, Bori Bora. It was in the early 80s when Bori, who landed in Shillong for higher studies, met Siddharth Das. The two reportedly met at a party and soon hit off well. They started dating and finally fell in love and moved to Guwahati where the two started living in together at Indrani's posh Sundarpur residence. Born as Pari Bora to Durga Rani and Upendra Bora in Guwahati, Pari eloped with her boyfriend and carried on in a live-in relationship. The couple couldn't get married as Pari was still a minor. After the couple began dating in Shillong, the duo moved to Guwahati in this very residence in the city at Indrani's paternal residence on 8 Sundarpur Road where Indrani and Siddhartha began living in along with Indrani's parents UK Bora and DR Bora. What Siddhartha has told us is that he was quite popular with Indrani's parents, that they had accepted him uh, in their family and that's the reason why even though it was early 80s the couple were living in together along with Indrani's parents something that was uh, considered quite ahead of its time as far as uh, this posh locality even in this posh locality in Guwahati is concerned and Siddhartha tell us that it was in 87 that Sheena was born in this very residence and it was in 88 that Mikhail was born and finally in 89 as Siddhartha himself has accepted the relationship broke apart and Indrani dumped Siddhartha. Siddhartha however has not been able to specify as to what exactly was the reason why the relationship did not last very long. However, one reason that we are given to understand was Siddhartha's financial condition given that Indrani already came from a very financially upwardly mobile background. But 
the couple shifted to Guwahati, Siddharth was not financially stable. He was not doing anything. He needed a job. And as Indrani's family had accepted him well, Indrani's parents helped him set up a small food joint on RG Barua Road here in Guwahati. It was at this place that a food joint was set up by Indrani and Siddharth. However, that business did not last long. And perhaps that was a trigger which led to Indrani dumping Siddharth. After a failed attempt at a fast food restaurant venture in Guwahati, Indrani, who dreamt big, took off for Kolkata, leaving her children with her parents. Somewhere along the way, she transferred the children's custody over to her parents, naming them as adoptive parents in new birth certificates. Kolkata, she had a lot of aspirations. She met Sanjeev Khanna and they fell in love with each other. They stayed together for more than five to six years. This was the house where they stayed together in a joint family. 4C Chapel Road has been known to be the residence of Sanjeev Khanna for more than two decades, where the joint family has been residing together. Besides that, what is more important is it's not just about the relationship that both of them shared, but also the rapport that they had with everyone else. They seemed to be a very happy couple and this was the place where Vidhi was born. personal and social life that Indrani and Sanjeev Khanna shared with each other, but also a professional life that they shared. For more than a decade, they worked together in central Kolkata. 46 Chitranjan Avenue, first floor, was their office where they spent time together, working and trying to earn a living. Both of them were extremely happy, till the time one fine day, or rather not that so fine day, in late 90s, around 98, when Indrani and Sanjeev fought with each other. The fight was so turbulent that it left everyone in the office in a state of shock. That was the day when Indrani decided she would never come back to office. And that was the last day of hers in the office and perhaps in Sanjeev's life too. During her decade-long stay in Kolkata, Indrani was extremely fond of clubbing and known to be one of the most popular socialites in the city. With Sanjeev Khanna, she used to visit CCFC almost every day. Even during her pregnancy, we are told that she interacted with everyone. When Vidhi was born, it was celebration time and everyone celebrated. But they parted ways. And that's the reason why the difference of opinion almost sprung up in the relationship. Known to be in the social circuit as someone who met very warmly with everyone, but someone who was extremely ambitious and wanted to make it big in life. If not in Kolkata, maybe heading to another city. Indrani was spotted with Peter Mukherjee in 2002. Soon tabloids started speaking about the blossoming relationship between the broadcast industry's most powerful man, a 46-year-old Peter, and Indrani, 16 years younger than him. News about their engagement came next. 
by then Indrani had opened a recruitment company and was seen as a confident young businesswoman. When Indrani came to Mumbai in 2001, advertising professional Alec Padamsi became her step up to the social circuit. It was Padamsi who introduced Indrani to the then Star India CEO Peter Mukherjee at a party hosted by Suhail Singh. Peter, who was there with his girlfriend, was immediately enamored by Indrani. And thus, their romance started. Three months later, they got married at Sir Poshkanwala Road residence. It was in Mumbai that Indrani Khanna became Peter Mukherjee. She constructed a whole new backstory for herself. She told her newly acquired friends that her father had died when she was young and that her mother married her father's brother. She also claimed that her ex-husband Sanjeev was vile and abusive and that is why she moved to Mumbai with Vidhi who was later adopted by Peter. On the 21st of August, a chauffeur, Shyam Rai, was arrested in another case. But he went on to reveal a story that brought Indrani Mukherjee's life crumbling down. In 2006, Indrani went to Guwahati and got Sheena along with her as her half-sister. The Mukherjee's enrolled her at Xavier's College. She got along very well with Vidhi and was seen with them at all social gatherings. Mikhail was sent to Pune for further studies. Rahul, Peter Mukherjee's son from earlier marriage, never warmed up with Indrani but got along very well with Sheena. This was something which was not liked by Indrani. Rani was on a vacation with Peter in Europe. She came back with a plot in her mind. It just took hours for her to transform from a high society woman leading a five-star life to a murder accused backed in Mumbai's car police station for sustained interrogation. On that fateful day at around 6.30 p.m., it was here at Mumbai's busy Bandra that Indrani was waiting for Sheena. She was inside a car along with a former husband Sanjeev Khanna and driver Shambhal Rai. That day, she had schemed to eliminate her own daughter. We are right outside National College in Bandra and this is exactly the spot where Sheena Bora's last journey had started in 2012. So, Pratim, if I can come to you and ask, what exactly had really that happened that very day? See, that day her mother Indrani called her and she wanted to pick her from this point and Rahul dropped her here and then, but Sheena was reluctant to sit in the car. In fact, she saw her stepfather Sanjeev Khanna in that car and somehow she has some intuition or anything. She was not ready to sit in that car but forcefully, she, she, all these people were make her sit in the car. Yeah. Virind, what exactly do you think? Is she Was she drugged? You know, or did she sit in the car on her own? Uh, as per the police information, she was drugged. Uh, 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 water, water will be kept inside the uh, car. Uh, she was offered uh, the water and I we believe and even the police have said she was drugged and later she was taken to an undisclosed location where the entire incident took place. In fact, for the in information we are getting, Indrani has said in the statement that Sanjeev had strangulated uh, Sheena uh, at that particular location. Okay, so let's go to that location. Where exactly it was? How far from here? What exactly was in on the route towards her death? We are right now in Bandra Bandstand and this is exactly where in 2012 Sheena bred her last. So Pratim, why did they come here? Why did they choose this particular spot? Vidya, see at that time I think this place was a bit, bit isolated, less crowded. That's why they have chosen this place for, for, for as a, using this place as a place of occurrence. Moreover, they have also asked their driver 
to stand outside their car as a chaukidar as a guard uh, so that uh, they can make them hide from uh, each and every one in this place so what exactly happened after that the moment they they killed china what happens after that uh, it, it seems uh, even if we believe what the police has said that the body was been packed in the bag which was they had already brought here and they kept it at the sticky of the car and they took that car to the garage of uh peter's mukherjee's house which is at located overly the let, let me add to what subhadeep said right he said yeah, after 7 to 8 o'clock late night this entire place become dark and nobody stays around and that was a positive part for indrani to talk out the plan Later Indrani with her two associates looked for a appropriate space to dispose of the body but she knew if she travels with the body she would be caught that's why the body was kept in the garage of this building next morning at 5 am the car along with the body left for the highway transportation the body was kept at the back seat of the car between indrani and sanjeev keeping the body in the boot would have been risky just in case there was police checking on the way the driver moved the car towards the highway and once the driver reached bend area they took out the body out of the car packed it in the suitcase poured combustible material and set it afire the remains were then hidden in the desolate area One month later, Penn police discovered the remains, but they couldn't connect it with Sheena's murder. Mumbai police says Indrani's planning was perfect. Had it not been for a tip-off to Mumbai police chief, the tip-off set the ball rolling and then led to the arrest of the driver first, and then Indrani and Sanjeev. Indrani, Indrani, do you have any response? Indrani, Indrani, do you have any response? I am at the crime site where Sheena Bora's body was dumped in the year 2012. Now, after three years, once the murder came to light and three people in, uh, accused in the murder have been arrested. A high level enquiry has been initiated and all those posted at Raigad police headquarters and Pain police station in the year 2012 are being questioned. Strict action will be taken against those police officials involved if found guilty. Present Raigad SP Mr. Hak is heading the probe ordered by Konkan IG Maharashtra to look into the role of police officials. This case has been taking puzzling turns every day but still there are crucial gaps which need to be filled such as the motive the modus operandi the murder itself for now the mumbai police claims to have made a strong case against indrani and her associates and they're trying to get to the bottom of one of the most complicated murder mysteries the country has seen for a while they still have 90 days to come up with a credible theory and a definite motive but the real picture of course will emerge when the trial takes place in this case